Hallelujah, brethren. Shabbat Shalom. Today I want to bring forth the very word Shabbat. It's a wonderful word, just like all of our Father's language. And in it is an unlocking of the very word itself. So you get a picture within a picture, within a word. Simple teachings. I'm not bringing forth all that is contained within them. It would be too long, but it would be magnificent. So as we go forth, let's read. Uh, we can read this out of uh, uh, Shemoth, Exodus. And we will start with uh, 20 and 12. And here it is. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, And you speak to the B'nai O Yisrael, the sons of Yisrael, my Sabbath you are to guard by all means. It is a sign between me and you throughout your generations to know that I am Yahuwah, am setting you apart, making you a Kadosh. And you shall guard the Shabbat, for it is, a, it is set apart to you. Everyone who profanes it shall certainly be put to death. For anyone who does Melaka, that is your occupation, on it shall be cut off from amongst his people. Six days work is to be done, and on the seventh is a Shabbat, Shabbaton, which is that it is a ceasing, a day of ceasing, a day of rest to you. And what is it for? It is a Shabbat, a Shabbaton, a set apart to Yahuwah. So who are we setting that day apart for? It's set apart to Yahuwah. It is a day that we stop working, that we rest from our work, from our toils, from our labor, that we rest into Yahuwah. If we go into the Hebrew and look at that, and why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we want to look at every word he has to tell us and study it out? Because it is fantastic. Is it not? I mean, it is fantastic what he's telling us. He's never telling us anything bad. He's always telling us wonderful things. And he's always giving us something that we didn't earn. That's wonderful. Is it not? It's an oath. Hey. Between the generations. That you may know that I am Yahuwah. Ah, this is so wonderful. To Yahuwah, keep it Kudush. It is Yahuwah. Kol, to whole, all, or every. Whosoever does work. Yes. So it is his. He is the master. Of Shabbat is not Yahusha, the son, Yahuwah Jr., is he not the master over the Shabbat? We're going to read in a little bit here um, what he's sharing with us about it. So there we know it is a day that is, it's a picture of his creation. And his creation is wonderful. But we see that, that in six days he did all his work. And on the seventh day he ceased and desisted from his work, for he completed it. And he drew his breath and was refreshed. And we'll go into that in a minute. That's wonderful as well. But let's take a look at the word Shabbat, because that word by itself, it, you can't even imagine. It's so wonderful. So let's go in here and look at what that really is. Oh, here's something. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, Shemot or Exodus 31 17 is a sign between me and you and the sons of Yisrael forever in six days. Yahuwah, sorry for that word, uh, made the Shemaim and the Eretz, but on the seventh day he ceased from labor and was refreshed. Um, there's so much more there. It's so wonderful. So let's go into taking a look at this. This is the word Shabbat, that is Shin 
Beit Ta or Tav, Tau. Um, some people pronounce it Tav. Shin Beit Ta. So let's go and look at those each and every one of those. Okay. But there it is, Shin. So we see here in the pictograph, it's a uh, picture of teeth. It is cutting or separating or oppressing. Um, it is to cut away or to, to separate one from the other. Uh, it shows sharp or friction. Um, it can be a tooth, it can be many things, but we do see that it is a picture of two front teeth in early Hebrew, and it kind of remains so. They also have a more spiritual meaning to the pillars of fire here, but for now we'll just stay in the simple interpretation, which is a separation or to separate or to cut away. Um, we have the bet, which we know is the tent or the house. It is a picture of us and our house, us as a people, us as an individual, our house as an individual house, and us as a collective house, the house of the of the Bene Yisrael, the, the sons or, 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 you know, of course, the men are the covering for their households, so that includes everybody. Um, so we are the house, so it is a separation, separating the house of Yisrael, and we have the tall, which is the sign or the mark or the signal. Uh, we just read in Shemoth, did we not? It is a sign, 3117, a sign between me and the sons of Yisrael uh, forever. In six days, Yehoah made the Shemaim and the Eretz, but on the seventh day, he ceased from labor and he was refreshed. So, what do we see here? And we see so much. So, we see that it is a separation of the house. It is a mark of the sign of the separation of the house. We are to be set apart. We are to separate. To be kadosh means to be separate or set apart. It means to separate ourselves. So in this, we see that the Shabbat separates us, separates the house of Yashorel, separates us as an individual to Yahuwah. It is the sign and the mark between us it is basically saying the agreement that you have written up, I have placed my signature upon it, the mark, the sign, the insignia that is upon it. That is the mark of those who are his, those who are keeping his Shabbat and keeping his Sabbaths and his Sabbatones. He said all of his appointed times. So let's go look at that. Hallelujah. And let's look at, let's read that again. So that we know that it's true. Again, we get in 12, in uh, Shemot 20 and 12, and Yehovah spoke to Moshe saying, and you shall speak to the sons of Yisrael, the children of Yisrael, my, my Sabbaths, my Sabbatones, my Sabbaths, my appointed times, you are to guard by all means. It is a sign, it is a tall between me and you throughout your generations to know that I, Yahuwah, am setting you apart. I am making you a Kadosh. So we see that he's the one who's making us Kadosh, is a sign. And down in 17, between me and you, the children of Yisrael, it is a sign forever. For in six days, Yahuwah made the Shamaim and the Aretz, and on the seventh day, and now it says he rested, but again, Rested and ceasing from your labor is the same thing. It's not what we think it means today. Resting doesn't mean sleeping and running around and doing. How can you be sleeping and running errands and doing things that you want to do on your day, on his day, when he strictly forbids that? Um, let's go into uh, Yashayahu to see if that's even possible or if that's just something that we want to do. We're going to do what we want to do, and we're going to do it when we want to do it. Okay. So in 13, Yeshiyahu 58 and 13. Let's go there. And we will read this together. And we'll read it as it was written in the Hebrew. And then we'll also read it as it's written in English because they kind of change words out there. But it does say Shabbat. So we understand he is talking about the weekly and not just about all. But he also wants us to understand that it is all part of the same thing. All right, so 
we'll read this. It says, if you do not turn back your path or your foot from the Shabbat, you're doing your pleasure on my set apart day. So who's this day? It just said that it is a day. We just read that it is a day unto Yahuwah. It is, it is to him. It is towards him. When that word to means to, to face or to be toward, to, to direct your path. So the Shabbat is a direction of your path to Yahuwah. So it says, if you do not turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my set-apart day and shall call the Shabbat a delight, the set-apart day of Yahuwah, esteemed and shall esteem it not doing your own ways nor finding your own pleasure nor speaking your own words then you shall delight yourself in yahuwah and i shall cause you to ride on the heights of the arets and feed you with the inheritance of yaakov your father for the mouth of yahuwah has spoken hallelujah and not fantastic. He says, if we do not let our foot turn away from what he has commanded us, it is a Shabbat rest to Yahuwah. It is a day dedicated. Go back to Mikra. It is a Kadosh, a set apart, a separate gathering of the body to who? To Yahuwah. It is for a reading. It comes from Quara, Mikra, Quara reading so we are to gather for the reading if you are home resting sleeping uh, running errands doing things with your kids doing things with your wife and your sons and, and, and your uncles and aunts and your friends then you are not doing his shabbat according to scripture it's not according to me it's according to scripture so i would say as you read these things find yashiyahu Isaiah 58 and 13 and read it and understand what it's telling you and don't be afraid to do it because it's wonderful. It says, Ti tashiv mi shabbat relakha asot zecha kaseha beyom kodesh be rata la shabbat. Oneg lehadosh Yahua mechabad vi chabato mi asot dera chacha memeso chi shecha ve dabar dabar az tinesat ye acho aviha he pe Yahua the bar reads the same way only he calls it the Shabbat Mi Shabbat which is H7676 period of temporary rest or a ceasing um, to cease and desist so it is a day that we are ceasing from our labors a day that we are breaking from our weekly days that separate us from Yahuwah and we're dedicating a day to him, not doing our own pleasure nor our own words. We're not doing what delights us, like being with our families, unless our families are keeping Shabbat with us. You are the covering for your household. If you're in a household that does not keep the Shabbat, but you do, you cannot be a covering for your family if you're not doing it. So I recommend we do it. We see it. Shin. Bet ta. It is a separation of the house, the Bnei Yisrael, the house, the mark or the sign. So it is a sign that you're separate. To who? To Yahuwah. It says to Yahuwah. It says this day is Yahuwah's day. He is Yahushua's son, the master of the Shabbat. And that Shabbat was made for man, not man for the Shabbat. Now, a lot of people say, see, it was made for us to, to rest and relax. And it was like, it was made for us to take from our day, our weeks and our months, and four times within that month that we turn away from us and turn back to him, hear his word, renew and refresh our mind. 
It's a fantastic, wonderful thing to do. Let's refresh ourselves in Yahuwah. Let's draw our breath, take a moment, forget about us, forget about the things that occupy our minds throughout the week, and dedicate that day to Yahuwah. It is a Shabbat Shabbaton to Yahuwah. Those are his words, not mine. Let's see the wonderful, perfect picture that is in Shabbat. It is the mark of the sign that separates the house, the tent. It separates you, separates the body, separates those that would call themselves sons. He says, I will make you heirs and make you to ride upon the high places if you don't turn your foot back from it, if you don't stray off the path and go do your own desires, your own will, your own words. We're not even to be speaking about our own things. This is a day to be speaking about him. This is a day to be hearing his word, studying his word, and doing the will of Elohim. It's not about us. It's about him. But guess what? When you rest into him, it refreshes your being. This is a day that we're refreshing or resting the nefesh, the very being, the very breath that he placed within us is being recharged and refreshed and renewed in his word. And when you do that, you're refreshed, recharged, and renewed. Hallelujah. Let's praise him this day and every day. He says, if you shall do all that I have said, then I shall be your most high, and you shall be my children. Hallelujah. Praise Yah that we shall do all that he has said and be his children and be his heirs that he might give us place to ride upon the heights of the Eretz. He will lift you up. Seek ye first the righteousness of Elohim. And he will give everything unto you. When we seek him first, he baruchs you. It is a barakot to each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Build up the body today. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much they mean to you. But tell Yah first how much he means to you and how much you love him. Keep his Shabbat. It's a sign. Thanks, guys. We love you. Bye.